just finished streaming the new season of High Caliber. A lot of my viewers are coming in saying, yo, how have you made the compass so small? You know, no numbers here, no numbers there, etc, etc. Um, a lot of questions about the HUD doesn't look good, mine are too big, blah, blah, blah. I think a lot of people don't realize with a few simple tweaks, you can make your HUD look pretty clean. Not quite like it was before, but not far off, more futuristic. Firstly, obviously we're on custom, so you can edit all these. Yeah, the compass will be on advanced, I'm pretty sure. You want to put it on simplified, that will make the compass a lot smaller. Um, keep all these on, all these on, because they are useful to you. Um, very simple, all on, and then we move up to equipment, loadout on. This is up to you if you want to see a loadout or not. You can get rid of this, this is very optional, but I would keep it on personally. Loadout input off, you don't need to know your keybinds. If you need to know your keybinds, put this on. But for a lot of people who've played the game for many years, we all know what our main gadget key is or what our melee key is. We don't need to be told on screen, in my opinion. This one's up to you again. A lot of people play with health off, but I would keep it on again for your casual players, including myself, even myself. I keep this on. A little bit of information, might as well. Well, uh, status effects. This one's personal preference. It doesn't really make a difference to your screen, so I would just keep that on personally. Stance indicator. I would take this off. You don't need to know if you're standing, lying down, or sitting up. You should know that yourself when you're playing. Obviously, a countdown. You can turn this off again. These are all just on because they don't take much screen space. Moving on to reminders. So this is where I would turn them all off. Go on action reminder. Turn them off. You obviously can have them on. You'll put them on, but if you just turn them off, it'll turn them all off for you. I don't think you need to be told these things. Um, tell you to drop the diffuser if you're still carrying it. These kind of general reminders of, oh by the way, you can do this. I just, we should all know how to play Siege that level. If you don't, keep them on obviously. Um, if you're brand new to the game, I do just recommend keeping all settings on. All these on again, these are crosshair ones. You can turn off your center dots, but I feel like you might as well know where the center of your screen is. All the other ones I'd keep on. Uh, again, the dot of your drone, you can turn that off. It's all up to you if you like a little dot to know where your center of your screen is. Moving on to in environment I would keep all these on personally um, if you don't like the rim light of the enemy you know the little shiny light around them turn this off otherwise uh, you can turn off usernames obviously or icons um, if you want to if that it looks cleaner I don't do it for stream purposes but you don't need to know your teammates usernames so I would probably turn that one off or an icon one of these two if you want to keep your game cleaner going on to the match information these are all useful I turn bands off because don't you hate when this band wave comes up on the right hand side and you're just like in the middle of a round in a clutch and all of a sudden your eye just gets drawn to massive bands. So I always turn that off. I don't need to know when banned. Too many cheeses on this game so I don't need to be told when they're banned. Um, pretty much keep all these on because they're extra information. There's new reinforcement pool. If you want new, it's not new, but new reinforcement pool and the drones, I guess you can keep those on or off depending. I don't see the point of turning them off whatsoever. Score updates, match updates, you want to know all this in my opinion. So keep that all on. Just going to the bottom of these two, you can turn these two off. They're not that important. Again, for me, it's just a little bit of extra information that I don't mind on my screen. Moving on to other, one of the big complaints I had on my stream was the big operator card that was on the left-hand side that takes like 30% of your screen. I'm sure they'll change that, in my opinion, to make it a bit smaller. It's very unnecessary to be that big, but you can turn this off. I would turn this off personally, but I'm doing it for content purposes to keep it on. Otherwise, that's it for you guys. The most important ones are right at the top. Uh, is your compass. You want this on simplified. You can turn some of these off again, like I said, but most of these are quite useful. You can and probably turn off ping location help and all these things with call outs if you know all your call outs etc otherwise that is the settings for you i hope this has helped make sure to leave a like and a comment if this has helped you Thanks for listening, guys. I hope this has helped you a little bit, making your HUD a little bit smaller and a little bit more simplified. Make sure to check out the socials below. Thank you again for all for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will make more of these videos, this video as well. So thank you again for support. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.